uh, here at the Dream Cruise Roadshow. Uh, coming up, uh, Bob, the next car up, I think, is one of uh, one of the ones you you called out, the 1970 International Harvester 1100D. The owner is uh, Karen Godchalk. This one, uh, this one got your attention. Well, it got my attention because um, international harvesting pickup trucks and later they did some sport utilities. Actually, the first real American sport utility was built in very limited volume by International Harvester, but these are incredibly rare, and this is an absolutely beautiful specimen. You can see the grill and bumpers, all the right colors. Uh, the body, of course, is flawless, but uh, the owner has made sure that the vehicle is absolutely original, like the day it came out of the factory, with the right rubber, the right wheels, and um, an extremely rare vehicle. I don't, you know, there's not a big, not a big collector's market for international harvester pickup trucks, but I'm, I'm glad to see that there is one immaculately preserved, and that's got to be it. It's just spectacular. Well, I'll tell you something about that uh, signature grill. You certainly know uh, you can recognize one uh, when they are coming at you. That is the International Harvester. Let's go and meet uh, Karen, talk a little bit more about uh, uh, the, the 1100D uh, with Eric Gorgeous in the street. Eric, to you. All right. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you, Eric? I'm well. Thanks for coming out. Oh, thanks for inviting me. This is fantastic because, you know, a lot of people don't know what an international is all about. Yeah, you, you know, you don't see a ton of internationals no, you out do there, not. do you? Nope, you do not. This so, is one of a kind, basically. I've not yet to find another one like it. Really? How'd yes. you come across it? My brother found it as alongside the road in Clarkston. He bought it. He knew I was looking for an international, gave me a call and said, hey, come on out and take a look at this. He goes, I don't know if this is what you want or not. So I looked, I go, I want this. So what made you want an international? I've always loved the internationals. He had a 48 KB one, and when he had put it up for sale, I wanted it. And at the time, I just didn't have the money to buy it. Right so on. I thought, well, I'll just keep waiting till I can get some money. And when this one came up, I said, this is it. I'm going to take it. But what is it about the internationals that you love so much? The look, the, the sound? Look, the look, the look. Because they're unique. Like I said, you don't see them. The 70s and the late 60s, you know, they were a workhorse truck, so you don't see many of them. They're pretty well beat up. Oh, I got you. And then I got you. This one came off of a, a, a ranch in Texas, Harper, Texas. Really? And that, yes, it did. It was 52,000 original miles. Oh, my gosh. Yes. It's I a, mean, it is in great shape. Yes. Well, we've had it repainted and a little body work because they side swiped the right side and put a big dent in it and all the way down. But other than that, it's all original. I got you. Let's walk around the okay, side here and sure. check it out a little bit. So you did quite a bit of work to it? No, not really. The only thing that we did was uh, body work and that, um, and my brothers helped me maintain it with, uh, you know, basic tune-up and stuff like that. Right, right. He's a motorcycle guy too. Oh, he's a biker too, He's eh? a biker too, <laughs> yeah. And that, shout out to Terry. Hey, Terry, how you doing? <laughs> So how long have you owned it now? I've owned it for close to nine years. Nine years? Yes. And have you had an international yourself before? No, I've not. This is the first one. Just a dream. Just a dream, yep. Right. And, and then, do you drive it much? Um, it's, I drive it as much as I can, but with a historical plate, you know how that goes. You can only oh, do yeah, shows yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah. she gets driven though. She's not a trailer queen by any means. Well, that's good to yeah. hear. Yeah. And you bring it out to the cruise every year? I do every once in a while, but with a three speed in it, I'm riding the clutch quite a bit. So yeah. we just go a short distance. We don't do the whole long haul. Oh, right, right, right. That because it, you know, it's kind of tough with three speeds, so yeah. So what's your favorite part about coming out to the cruise? And that, seeing all the other cars. Yeah. And that, yeah. What and, else do you like? And that, um, what, do you, what do you mean there? What other cars do you like? Oh, what else? Oh, I'd love to have a Studebaker, a Bullet Studebaker. Yeah. Bullet Nose, I'd love to have one of those, yeah. <laughs> and I like the Studebaker pickup trucks. They've got a nice design to them also. You don't see a ton of those? No, either. you do you not. You like the rare cars. I do, <laughs> and I do like pickup trucks. I think they're, you know, they're a unique thing all the way around. I mean, you know, you don't see many trucks at all. You know, the great thing about a pickup is that it's just, it's there for everything. Yes. You know? Yes. Everything and anything you need, Right. you got a pickup. Yes. You know, so it's, it's all good. It, yeah, it's all good. And that, yeah, this, we just came back from the International Nationals down in Troy, Ohio. They have, uh, and they come all over from the United, all over the United States and that, scouts, pickup trucks, travel alls. It's, it's great to do, go down there and see all those too. Yeah. yeah. Now, how it's, was the turnout there? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh my God. They had, this was, this year was the largest turnout they've had 
ever. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's that's it, great to hear. Yeah. That I is mean, great to hear. But uh, there was not another one like this down there either. <laughs> <laughs> so. I bet. Who came out with you today? This is Nick, my nephew. Nick, your nephew. All right. Nick, my nephew. Hey, Nick. And, and if I can, can I give a shout out to my boys? Sure, why not? Luke and Ham Martinez. Shout out to you, boys. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for thank coming you. out. Thank you. I love your truck. Thank you very much. And have a great day. Thank you. You too. All right, Fred. You guys, thank you. And uh, Robert, I know you want to give an additional shout out, a final word uh, to Karen because you're, you're continually impressed with the job she's done in restoration. Well, it's, it's absolutely perfect. And as I say, there's a rarity to it and a purity. For instance, a very unsophisticated front suspension. It's just a beam, which makes it very rugged. So even when, when these were created, they were created not for style. They didn't want to be the prettiest pickup truck on the road. They want it to be rugged and functional. And that styling perfectly fits the character of the vehicle, and it's beautifully preserved. You'll notice there's, other than the hubcaps, there's no chrome on that thing.